Get excited guys because we are making little clay guinea pigs um, like the ones that I saw running free in the Andes Mountains over the summer. We are going to have two pieces of clay today and we're going to start with a little square of clay and the first thing you're going to do is start to round the corners and to do that you can just pound each corner into your palm to soften it. It's pretty squishy so it shouldn't hopefully be too hard. Um, and then once you kind of have it softened, you can use your hand to press it and you can roll it on the table. And you wanna work with it until you kind of get that shape from a rectangle to a nice little oval. You can smush it and you can smooth it down. Okay, I've rolled and rolled and rolled and I've gotten my ball. I'm gonna take him and flatten him onto the ground so he'll sit nicely. And I'm going to take my extra clay and I'm going to start, um, I need two eyes, two ears, a tail, and a nose. So I need six little pieces of clay. And to get those, I'm going to roll a coil. You're gonna roll it like a little snake. And if it gets, um, if it gets flat, if it starts to get flat like that and it's kind of clonk, 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 clonk instead of rolling, you can take your fingers and smush it together or you can just roll your hand longer and that should even it out. So now that I've got a kind of long piece, I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm gonna cut it in half. And now I have two pieces. I needed six pieces, so I'm going to cut it into thirds. So you're just gonna cut your log into six pieces. If you don't get them all at once, that's okay. You can use some more clay and make another one. But you're gonna need six little pieces. So I'm gonna set these guys aside and I'm gonna start with my tail. I'm gonna get one of the pieces and I'm going to smush it like a triangle. Make a little triangle. And now I'm going to attach it. But this is different than Play-Doh. You can't just attach it because when it goes into the kiln and it dries and hardens, it's going to shrink and fall off. So what you have to do is called scoring and slipping. We are gonna use a toothbrush to do our scoring today. And sometimes we'll use that, sometimes we'll use a stick, but today we're gonna use a toothbrush. I'm gonna dip it in the slip and I'm going to rough it up by brushing the tail. And then I'm gonna brush the booty. And then I'm gonna take the tail and stick it where it goes on the booty. I'm gonna press it in. And at this point, you're not done. You really need to take your finger or you can take one of these popsicle sticks and you're gonna smooth the edges together so that you can't see, you can't tell where it was attached. So now I've got my other pieces and I'm gonna roll these guys into a ball. I'm gonna make two ears next. So I've got two balls and I'm gonna squish them a little bit. and I'm gonna decide where I want them, right here on the top. They're gonna to stick straight up. And now I'm gonna wiggle that off and I'm gonna use my toothbrush and I'm gonna score the clay. I'm gonna stick that first ear on. I'm gonna score the bottom of the ear and the top of the head where it goes. And then I'm gonna press it on and it looks like you're done, but you're still not done because you have to smooth it together. So I'm going to take um, either your finger or a popsicle stick and you're going to smooth it right there onto there. I'm going to smooth it on the back. It's kind of like you're pulling a little clay from the top and smushing it down onto the bottom. So now I've got my cute guinea pig ears. Now I need eyes. And actually, I might end up turning this one ball and cutting it in half because it's pretty big. I'm gonna cut this in half. And now I have two, um, two spheres that I'm gonna put on there for his eyeballs. And I'm going to put my toothbrush in the slip and rub it. I'm gonna rub on here where it goes and stick it. Same thing for this eye. The eyes you wanna get really good because those are gonna be hard to smooth on. I'm going to 
really press the eyes down flat too. Now I'm going to use my popsicle stick and I'm going to smooth it on. Now I can take my other clay tool with my pointer and I can poke a little hole in for the eyeballs if you want to. And now it's time for our nose. I'm going to make a little nose, so I'm going to get even rid of some more of that. And I'm going to roll a sphere in my hand. Um, use my toothbrush to score. I've already scored his face. And then I'm going to press that down. All right. And now I've got my nose, my tail, my ears, my eyeballs. All he needs is a little mouth. So I'm going to use this handy dandy popsicle stick again. And I'm going to poke it in there where his mouth is. <laughs> and um, if you want to make it into a smile, you can kind of turn it up on the edges there. And you can give him a big smile. And now my guinea pig is done. Now if you want, you can add some texture and fur on your guinea pig. You can use your tool and you can press into there to add some texture to him. When you're done with your guinea pig, you are going to raise your hand and um, I'm gonna have a blue tray and I'm gonna put everybody's guinea pig on there But before I put it on there I'm gonna double check it to make sure everything is on really well And if you need to secure anything on I'm gonna help you and then we are um, gonna, I'm gonna write your initials on the bottom 